Hey everybody, here's that Dell power supply that came out of that Dell Optiplex machine I just disassembled recently. Here's a look at the spec label. Halls of use specs. Anyways, this is a Newton manufactured power supply, 250 watt power supply has most of its power on the 5 volt rail but it does have some 12 volt power for a machine of its time so let's go ahead and have a look inside this thing which as you can see it has a passive PFC coil installed so this unit has a lot of weight to it and it has a clamshell style case so let's go ahead and get the cover off and have a look inside righty here we go this thing has a lot of hardware cr crammed in it too. We have a primary board and a sister board. There's so much stuff in this thing. I'm gonna grab my light so I can get some better light inside this thing. The AC goes straight from the receptacle to this sister board that has um, some filtering stages, holds the fuse, has the NTC. Um, thermistor for inrush current limiting. A bigger, um, let's see. It apparently it appears to have two NTCs. A big one and a small one. If you can see, the big one's right there, and the small one is located down there. So it's a total of two NTC thermistors for inrush current limiting. And our AC goes in, I believe, right here. And um, like I say, we got a lot of filtering components on this um, sister board. And here is a humongous PFC coil for passive PFC. This was the kind of power factor correction that was used primarily before um, active PFC came along. And of course, the active PFC power supplies. Um, had full range in terms of input power. Now let's have a closer look at um, the primary stage on this thing. Everything looks good to me. I don't see any visual signs of failure or anything. I believe the power supply is just fine. Here's a better look at things. See a rectifier bridge down there. And um not very often you see this we have um, well this is actually these are actually Nichicon caps on the primary um, side but I've seen some with Rubicons too and um, so we have Nichicons on the primary input side and we have um, decent sized transformers for a 250 watt power supply there's a better look at things we have some Optocouplers down there. That's why this thing only has two transformers. And um, there's a capacitor, I believe it's for the 5 volt standby. The ones in best techs usually tend to fail. And the um, 5 volt standby and output sides this power supply have take on capacitors. None are bulging, They're all, they all look just fine. This power supply looks perfectly fine. Like I said, it was really filthy when um, it was pulled out of, out of the computer. It looks really clean now that I've went to it with the air compressor. And it's funny, there is actually another little add-on board in the very left corner under the PFC coil. So this thing has a total of three boards. A main board, let's see, a little sister board, and another sister board right here. And um, it seems like Newton power supplies are usually built very well. It just seems like some OEMs like to choose some of their lowest M power supplies, and sometimes that doesn't work very good. This one, however, was a good pick for the computer that I was in. I mean, 250 watts for a P4, that's not, that's not a bad choice. And um, it appears this thing may have um, two transistor 5 volt standby circuitry. Though as long as it's built well, has all the protections, that's fine. 
So anyways, um, I'm not tearing this power slide apart. There's nothing wrong with it. Just try to give you a quick look inside. So anyways, um, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.